Hallelujah, glory to you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah, glory to you, Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lord, hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything, Lord God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for life, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I worship you, Lord God. There is none like you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb, glory. Hallelujah, glory to the King. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, worthy, worthy, worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, you're worthy. You are worthy, Lord God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless your holy name. Father, forgive us, Lord God, for all the times that we may have taken advantage of our relationship with you. Not having the utmost respect for our Father as we should. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord God, for our sins. Forgive us, Lord God, for the filth. Forgive us, Lord God, for the mindsets, the thoughts, Lord God. Guide us, Lord God, in our change, in our healing. As you bless us, as you strengthen us, as you keep us, Lord God. May we never be the same. May we be everything that you have called us to be. May we be the chosen vessels, vessels of honor to do your will, Lord God, wherever we go. May we be people who walk in love and operate in love. Hallelujah. May we demonstrate Jesus in all that we do. Have mercy on us, Father, and forgive us. We want the heart of Jesus. May our heart be like yours, Father. Full of love and compassion. Full of mercies. Forgive us, Father, for holding grudges. Forgive us for holding things against people. Have mercy on us, Lord. And I decree that we forgive people immediately. That those we've held on to for a very long time, Lord God, that we release it. We deal with the emotions. We may even speak of our frustrations, but we release it. And as a matter of fact, we pray for our enemies. We pray for those who despitefully use us. Those who mistreat us. Those who harmed us. We pray for them. We pray for their soul. We pray for their soul salvation. We pray for their deliverance from evil. Their deliverance from the evil one. We pray for deliverance from the evil one from, for ourselves. We pray that our hearts be pure. Father, we pray that their hearts um, no longer be hearts of stone, but hearts of flesh. And we as well. Lord God, we forgive those who harmed us and hurt us. Those who backstabbed us, lied against us. We forgive them, Father. We release it and we let it go. We give it over to you because you are in control. You know things about that person that we don't know. We may see one side, the side of them that hurt us, has hurt us. But you see all the nooks and crevices. You see every single detail of that person's life. And there may be things in their life that we have no idea the reason why they do what they do, the reason why they say what they say, the reason why they behave the way they behave. So we will show mercy as you have showed mercy. You know our beginning and you know our ending, Father. You know every detail about each and every one of those who love you and that you love. So how much more mercy shall we show to others?
it's better to love than to do things our way and to be right. And our righteousness is as filthy rags. Because none of us are righteous without you, Jesus. We need you. You cleanse us. You cleanse our hearts. You cleanse our minds. And may we cleanse ourselves. You said that we can cleanse ourselves with the watering of your word. When we continue to read your word, we renew our mind. May we be strong in you, Lord God, in word, thought, and deed. May we have the mind of Christ put on the helmet of salvation. May we guard our mouth. May we guard the words we say, the words we speak to each other, to ourselves, even the thoughts that we have toward ourselves, Father. Help us, Lord God, to see ourselves as you see us. And help us to see others as you see them, Lord God. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you praise and honor, Lord God. All power belongs to you. All honor belongs to you. You are worthy, worthy, worthy. You are worthy. You are so worthy, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. You are worthy. Glory, glory, glory. Father, if I don't know anything, if I don't know anything, I know this, that I cannot do this life without you. I know this, I need you, Lord God. We need you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We need you, Lord. We need you, Father. May it be less and less of our flesh and more of you, Jesus. May we rise to the occasion of holiness of righteousness in Christ Jesus, of walking in the Spirit and pleading the blood over our lives, may we rise to the occasion of holiness. We are a holy people. Hallelujah. Separate from the world, 
Even though we live in the world, we are not of the world. Hallelujah. Because our kingdom is heavenly. Hallelujah. And we experience heavenly power here on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. There's none like you, Lord God. There's no one that loves us like you do. Lord God, if we really look at everything and pay attention to everything that we've been through, everything that we've gone through, how we still made it out, clothed in our right mind, it was only because of you, Jesus. You did not allow everything that came against us to destroy us. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for that. <laughs> we thank you, Lord God, that the enemy did not take us out. The enemy did not have his way. That you had so much mercy on us, Lord. And even so, Father, you love us. You love us with an everlasting love. Your love is deeper than the ocean. We've gone through so much. We've experienced so much in this life. And good, the bad, and the ugly. We know that you love us. We know that whatever came against us, that you are working it out for our good. It's not about how bad we are, anything like that. It's how you're shaping us. It's how you're making us. We may be pressed on every side. We may be perplexed and shocked about some things. But yet, the crushing, the crushing will produce oil. Oil that you will use to pour out to others. We are your chosen vessel. We are your people. We love you, Lord. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. Because you first loved me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No greater love has he had for us than he laid down his life for us. We may know about it. We may, we may. You know, we're so used to hearing it. Some of us, it may sound common in our ear. But it's really not a common thing for someone. Someone may die for someone. But Jesus didn't just die, like take a bullet for us. Like if we say it in street language, he didn't just take a bullet for us. He made sure. The sacrifice that he made for our life was for eternity. It was forever. Mm. You know, 
I just really thought about this. The enemy had a contract on us. He had legal rights to us. When Adam made the mistake unknowingly of giving over the deed to earth, the deed to the earth realm, this realm God created for us and he created for us to have dominion and to walk in power. And so our Adam, the first first man that was created, was tricked out of his inheritance. But it's okay because God said, you know what? I'm going to restore to them their deed. He paid it all for us. So now... The devil don't have a legal contract over us anymore. Because Jesus paid for it once and for all. He doesn't have a legal contract over your life. He doesn't have a legal contract over you. That's why you must speak against it. Whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. Jesus, whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. You are free. Hallelujah. By the power of the Father, by the power of Jesus, by the power, hallelujah, of the blood, the precious blood of Jesus, and operating mm -hmm. through the Holy Spirit. You are free. Hallelujah. God bless everyone on tonight. I will say the sinner's prayer. Everyone who want to receive the Lord Jesus. Repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead on the third day. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and come into my life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Tonight I decided to do like a midnight prayer. A prayer a little, actually a little before midnight. And I might do it for a while, um, just praying in tongues and worshiping the Lord. Welcome to 40 Days and 40 Nights of Prayer. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Everyone that's listening, draw closer to God. Draw closer to God. Have intimacy with Him. An intimate relationship with Him. He loves you guys very deeply. Know this without a shadow of a doubt. But not only know it in your mind. Know it deep down in your heart. No, it, it what you've gone through, it doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. The enemy wants to trick you into believing that. The real reason is, is, is just sin in this world. 
and its darkness, unfortunately, in this world. But just like these stars that we are seeing on the screen, God wants us to shine through the darkness. And the more of us who dwell with God, walk with God, talk with God, spend close, close time with God, like your very best friend, like your husband and your wife, like that person you love spending so much time with, spend time with God like that. And you will watch your star get brighter and brighter. You will become brighter and brighter in Him by the Holy Spirit. I love all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's stay holy. Let's stay separated. Let's stay consecrated before Him. Our Father is coming soon. Hallelujah. I love you all. God bless you.